Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, we're going to talk about LUTs. I'm going to explain how you could create a LUT in Photoshop, how to use a LUT in Photoshop, and why you may want to consider creating and using LUTs. Now let's start out with creating a LUT in Photoshop. As you can see, I have an image open in Photoshop. It's not processed, and I'm going to process it using adjustment layers. And really a LUT is really a bunch of adjustment layers. That's really all it is. Um, and it's just compacted down into a single file. And you could take that single file into other applications. So if you have, let's say, Luminar or On One Photo Raw or any other application that uses a LUT, you could do these adjustments in Photoshop, create that LUT, and then take that LUT and use it in other applications and have that look available in those applications as well. So on this one, I want to create a black and white image. So I'm going to use a black and white adjustment layer. And I'm going to make the sky a little more dramatic here. I'm going to open up those trees by moving yellow to the right. I'm going to make the greens a little darker. I'm going to make the reds brighter because that's those buildings in there. I'm going to make those a little brighter. I don't think magenta does anything. And it doesn't. So I think that's good for the black and white adjustment layer. Now I want to add some contrast. So I'm going to go to curves. I'm going to use the drop down. Let's try linear contrast. Eh, not enough. Let's go to medium contrast. Um, it's okay. A little bit too dark though. So I'm going to go down here on this point that's in the shadows area. And I'm just going to push that up a little. Like that. And I think we'll finish it off with a levels adjustment. I want to make the whites a little whiter. So I'm going to move this uh, to the left and then kind of move this to the right a little, a little bit maybe just like kind of like that maybe okay that's good all right i added three adjustment layers so i could add more i could have used less it doesn't matter i'm ready to create my lut now now to create my lut we're going to go up to file down to export and we're going to go down to color lookup tables and this is basically our LUT. And you could give it a description. So I could call this my black and white LUT. Okay, and I'm going to actually copy that because I'm going to use that again. Uh, the copyright is me, so I have my name in there. Um, all right, now grid points. Uh, you probably are tempted to like max it out at 256. I would discourage you from doing that because quite often if the, first of all, it's going to make a larger file. Second of all, a lot of applications won't be able to apply um, a LUT with 256 grid points. Um, what I found and what you'll probably hear most uh, photographers say that for photography, 128 works out great. So just put it at 128 grid points and that should work out well. Now you could create four separate files here, a, a .3DL, a .cube, a .csp, a .icc. You could do all these. Now, in my case, uh, for this LUT and in those other applications, those two I mentioned, Luminar and On One Photo Raw 2021, those use .cube LUTs. So that's what we're going to use. We're just going to create one LUT, a .cube. You, of course, could create them all if you want. And then we'll click OK. And I mentioned that I copied that because we've got to give it a name. So I'm giving it a name, my black and white LUT, and I'm going to put it on my desktop right there, okay? So we'll click Save. And it's going to create and save that LUT. And it did. All right, so we got a LUT saved. Whoop-de-doo. <laughs> all right, let's go to all these uh, adjustment layers that I put here, and let's just throw them all away. So we're right back where we started. Now I want to use that LUT. So I'm going to go to right here, Color Lookup Adjustment Layer. We're going to do that. And right here where it says Load 3D LUT, click there. Then click there again. And you'll open up a Finder window. And you can see I have a LUT right there, my black and white LUT. We'll click Open. Right, and give it a second to open. And you'll see there's our adjustments all done in that one file. And now I could take that and I could go to another image go to the color lookup table click once there click second time and then go to my black and white LUT and bingo bingo there it is bingo <laughs> so there it is so you could take that look and you could export it basically to other applications i could use that in luminar on one photo raw ah, those applications you know that use lots including like affinity photo whatever 
whatever you like, you could do it now with that LUT. Also video applications as well, Adobe Premiere and so on. If you want to apply this look to a video, you're able to do that now. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.